Did you guys see the news reports about them parachuting or hang gliding into that rave? I don't know, if, I don't know about the full detail, but I don't think they did all that, to be honest with you. Oh, you don't yeah. think so? The baby story you were talking about, I keep asking people because that was babies whose heads were cut off by Hamas, this terrorist group. But the protest here today was celebrating Hamas. Every single martyr must be born. And that's why we're confused. Was it really? They're calling them martyrs. Some people saying they're freedom fighters and other people saying it's they're like uh, terrorists, kind of like ISIS. They have been designated as a terror group by the U.S. since 1997. Do you think that matters at all or is that up, kind of up for debate as well? I think that's kind of up for debate as well. Like Israel, they've done much worse to the people of Palestine. The one time they decide to fight back because it's their land, and they're just going to make a big deal about that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Do you think making a big deal about rape and murder is a bad thing? I'm not, I'm not supporting those actions at all. But, uh, like, listen, I'm supporting them fighting back for the country. Have they gone too far? Okay, maybe they've gone too far with that stuff, obviously. But if they want to fight back for the country, there's a way to do it. Maybe they took it a bit too far. Well, if they're celebrating the attacks, which are done by Hamas, do you think that counts as supporting Hamas? Not necessarily. I think that they're kind of not in a way of celebrating because obviously, like, their country is in, like, a very bad position right now. Like, there's a lot of war and a lot of, like, destruction happening to both sides. Honestly, like, I think that just peace would be great between the two. 